Hey everybody, it's Michael. Welcome back to Crying Sons. And in fact, this is uh, 1138. I think that's very nice. Okay, we are going to go and continue the game. So we got through a little bit of like the intro tutorial mission thing, and I think things are about to get real here. So we've already been to this planet. I actually did a, a little looking around here. Uh, we've got a little upgrade list of things that we can do. And I went ahead and bought an additional weapon dock. Unfortunately, we don't have an additional weapon, so what are you going to do? Let's go check out the star map here. We're in... Okay, it keeps telling me this. Uh, we already saw this, so let's just skip it. Uh, we're here in Shemus, so we can go to Furus Borealis or Elysia. Elysia's got a planetary defense turret wreckage and a mercenary outpost, so I guess that means we could get scrap and mercenaries from that and the other thing we well that's a symbol for a oh i see it's a trading beacon that's his trading beacon even though it looks like scrap here i'm guessing that's because you trade in scrap uh well all right let's go there and see what's up okay a different look CV ships, sir, but I'm not taking any activity inside. I fear we're too late. Uh, let's try to contact it. Okay, Lieutenant Ozu is on it. No, nope, no response. Well, let's send Captain Lynch to do a flyby. And I want to get to scavenge some fuel out of that hypercube thing. No scrap or fuel. Looks like someone beat us to it. Probably one of those despicable scrappers. Well, hey, we're kind of a despicable scrapper these days. Uh, well, wait a minute. Can't we go to this P fuel thing? Oh, okay. Here we go. One Neo N fuel recharged. Okay. Let's look in the local system map. What do we got left? Let's go to Fimto Omega. I really like these transitions. This is super cool. And check this out. We've got the little scrap symbol up here. And I guess this is the fuel symbol here. A church battleship hiding in that asteroid field. Okay, it doesn't see us. Ask Caliban if I can attack. When do I have to ask him if I can attack? Attack the ship, risking damage from the asteroids. 50-50? Have a specialist officer redirect asteroids into the enemy. Do we have the ability to do this? Well, let's try it. But I see an asteroid shower in their immediate forecast. Okay, how's this going to happen? Oh, we didn't get to see anything. Some zealot hunting. Alright. Prepare to fight. The battle's imminent. Damage. The enemy has sustained damage and will start the battle with a critical effect. And fire. The enemy has sustained damage and will start the battle with a critical effect. Okay. Wonderful. Let's try them out. Oh, crap. We got asteroids over here. This is going to be no fun to deal with. Can our ships get through the asteroids? What are you guys trying to do? You're trying to launch frigates? So we need to launch some drones then, I reckon. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's switch to drones. Uh, this drone is patched, and this drone is okay. Should we send a patch drone? I don't know. Let's, let's just not. Let's send a regular old drone. Are you guys going to be able to make it through to asteroids? We don't know. Um, Alright. Well, let's see what they do. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to do anything, because they're getting repaired for a little bit. Now, what's this here? We launched frigates too? Okay, we just launched everything then. And they've only got a couple of frigates. They're already damaged with the frigates. I... Th you can guide your units using waypoints. Okay. Uh, control or command key on each point. Okay. Well... Do we need to? Or is it just going to navigate on its own? It'll just navigate on its own. I'm going to say we hang back, though, to be honest, and, and we'll just see what happens with these frigates. I'm not going to move my frigates out, I don't think. 
We'll let them win their way over here and attack them. So hopefully our drones are going to be able to get these guys. They're taking a little bit of damage. Good thing we didn't send the patched ones, though. Because I fear we would be in trouble. Let's pause for a second here. Is our weapon ready to fire? It is. Let's take out their squadron bay, since they're going to launch more in a minute. And, uh... I guess we could move our drones up a bit. I'm a little worried about them getting damaged here. Looks like they're just about ready to launch, and there they come. Okay, well... Uh, you guys catch up to those guys? Can you do that? I didn't really mean for them to attack that weapons bay. I definitely want to stop more from launching. Seems like this is a bit tougher than before. Alright, so we're shooting their weapons now. Our drones are looking pretty bad off, though. Okay. Well, cool. We made it. That was a bit tougher, though. That was. And we get an auto repair on our guys. No empty dock. Let's see. What if I get rid of that and put that in there? Can I deal... No, I don't seem to be able to repair it from there. Uh, fine. Let's get our drones back. You know what? We should just not have anything ready to deploy. And we'll just, uh, we'll just deploy it when we learn something. Mercenary outposts allow you to hire and heal, heal officers. So, I can't see what these things are, but let's visit the shop. So, we can buy officers. We can buy neo in fuel. For 20 scrap, we can get two neo in fuel. That's probably worth doing, and we burned a lot of commandos. Did I actually buy that? I did, and um, we killed some commandos, although our number's looking pretty decent. All right, and we can hire an officer for 7,500. What is her? She's got a thruster boost to increase squadron speed. Skill count plus one, officer life minus two. And what's Amber got? Okay, she's got a thing that we already have. A Tesla field generator. No effects on battleship hull. And a hull breaker laser. No effect on field unit. Yeah, well we got that extra slot. Let's go ahead and do it. What do we have that we could sell? Can we sell our busted drone? I guess we could. We can sell our officers. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, let's not do that. Let's not sell our officers. Can I put a, another weapon in here, or can I only have one? It looks like I can... Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. So we got the hull breaker laser now. Wonderful. Uh, hold on. I think there's another system item we want to go to here, right? Yeah, we want to go to planetary defense turret wreckage. And lose a whole bunch of commandos on the way. Okay. Another civilian craft. Might be a small amount of scrap available. Okay, let's scrap it. Alright, so we're sending some folks over to scrap. How did that turn out? Not a bad little metal haul, if I do say so myself. 51 scrap? Yeah, we'll take that for sure. And we have a minimal requirement of three commandos. We do need to get some more officers. Let's scan. Let's see what's up. This is super nice, this effect here. No major threat. One retreat chance. Um, so, your officer has a chance to be injured, but we're going to end up with more resources, and we could lose a lot of commandos. Here, we won't lose as many commandos, but we won't get as many resources. Hmm. Well, let's take this one, and how many do we want? How many, uh, soldiers do we want? 
Where do I set that again? Is it going to let us... Oh, I think I wanted to put more commandos in there, but I, I, I messed up and didn't get that done. Oh! Well, okay, I guess we have a whole bunch. So we got some scrap. Danger, erudition helped us avoid it. That often happens. Okay, fight. We lost two guys. Oh, last time we just hurt them. They didn't die. Okay, we found the turret already. Erudition, engineering, and we got a cannon mark one out of that. That's wonderful. So we lost a Yamarik. Alas for a Yamarik. Erudition. All right, we got a smart, smart officer here, Gunnell. Ooh, let's retreat. We got the weapon. Oh. Bring back all the injured commandos and salvage 0% of the loot. Bring back the loot and save 0% of the injured commandos. One injured will die. Mm. Let's cancel the retreat. Let's just continue on. Erudition, thank you. Smarty pants. Oh, piloting. What happened? Nobody got killed, though. Okay. Okay, let's get out of there. We lost a guy, unfortunately. Well, that's alright. We got another guy. So, well, that's great. What do we have here? Let's un unattach that. A cannon mark one. Damage 20, delay of 33.3 seconds. Versus this thing, which has a damage of 35. And a slightly longer delay. And this cannon mark one doesn't affect battleship hull. This actually does fairly low damage, so this hull breaker is pretty sweet. Okay, yeah, let's take the hull breaker, and I think we I think we can get out of here unless we want to go buy something again. I don't think we do. Let's just go to the next system and see what we can do. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a shuba. Yeah, let's make for this end point. I presume. Oh, they're catching up. Okay. Slightly different hyperspace that time. Okay. Scrapper. Hull is damaged. Yeah, sure. My hull might be damaged, but I have Imperial Slaves. For anything, and each and every one dies. Think I'm kidding? See it? Well. What, they just put her on the, the horn? Hey. Hi, we're captives. I'm not sure I believe it. Trying to free the slaves by offering some scrap. Not going to do it. Uh, covert mission to rescue the slaves? I wonder what this would have been. Oh, so I don't have an, I don't have an opportunity just to destroy the ship and forget about the slaves, huh? Well, let's try this mission. It might get us some more crew. Scrappers around us. We walked into a total ambush. What did we lose? Scrapper ship disappeared from our radar. Must be some kind of interference from that sun. Won't be taking our revenge today, unfortunately. So we lost four commandos. Ouch. Okay, that hurt. Uh, let's scavenge some Neo in. We got two out of it. All right. Wonderful. Let's see what we got going on here. So we have an unidentified what's it over here to check out. Cool little station. Somebody's calling us. Baby maker. Oh lord. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the baby makers and play things. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Make their little cancer babies. All right. <laughs> this is quite strange. Nothing going on here but wholesome family fun from Stidge. We met Stidge before? Oh, and Caliban here is on the case. He thinks it looks like a scrapper baby maker station. I, I didn't know. So, we got an opportunity. Does this really mean it's like a 50-50 chance? Is it dot RNG? That's a lot of dudes. I don't I, Okay. Ask Caliban about Baby Maker Stations. You know what? I don't want to know about Baby Maker Stations, and I'm sorry you guys are there, but we got to go.
Oh lord. Lieutenant Hawks. We're down to nine commandos, so ain't nobody trying to be a hero today. I'm sorry about that. Uh, actually, but there is another place in here, right? Yeah, let's go to this one. There, It's an anomaly, so it's more dangerous. Alright. Scrap our battleship. Bruz. What's up, bruz? Okay, I guess we're fighting. Alright, what do you got going on here? He is deploying Drone Mark I Boomer. Uh, it's pretty beat up, though. Deal six damage to all adjacent unit damage halved on battleships. They explode? Oh my god. Okay, and what's this down here? You got an auxiliary system. Squadron dock recoveries twice as fast. Patch squadrons got one quarter of their max health. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to deploy fighters. And why not deploy two sets of fighters? Because screw those guys. Um... Well, okay, I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen, but I guess we'll find out. All right, let's roll. I probably want to get... What's this? An EMP tower? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, I'm worried about the EMP tower. I'm a little worried about the EMP tower. And we don't have a firing solution yet. Okay, oh, okay, they just randomly throw out an EMP spike every once in a while. Alright, that's fair enough. I really want my weapons online so I can stop this next wave. Let's bring our guys up here. And uh, maybe we can force those guys out around the EMP tower. They're going to have to come through us to get over here. So let's just wait for them. I would rather not get EMP'd. To be honest about it. Okay, well, we got a weapon up. I should remember that. Let's take a shot at that. And we didn't take it offline, it looks like. Critical heat. Okay, we got our hull breaker laser. Let's just go for straight hull damage, maybe? Okay, that was a nice chunk right there gonna leave our leave our units deployed we'll wait for them to come to us y'all can try to sneak around the back but you ain't gonna make it okay they going the long way they are let's uh, let's intercept we got this back up let's go for the squadrons let's try to shut that thing down and I'm really looking for my hull breaker to come back online here so that I can take a notch out of that out of that battleship there all right, there we go. Oh, it's got a hotkey. There we go. Ooh, we got an Executioner Laser Mark One. I. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Nice. Is that it? There's nothing more here, just the battleship. Okay. What does this new laser look like? 35 damage, delay of 40 seconds, no impact on battleship hull. Okay, well, I like right now being able to take out the battleship hull. We can usually take out their squadrons with our guys if we deploy the right thing. So I guess we're going to go to Ta Alshiba. There's a lot of crap over here. Okay, let's go. We got one Neo in. Alert is spreading. Looks like we're just ahead of the wave. They don't give you a lot of time to hang about and explore. A bit like FTL. Okay, that's interesting. And a key battleship. It was. I don't know what you'd call it now. Okay, what has happened to it? High solar particle levels. A player from the sun must have hit it. If we step on that ship or try to scrap it, we'll become heavily charged too. Okay. Uh, but we will try to scavenge some Neo N. We got one works. I wonder how this works. I feel like there's a mini game involved here, like depending on how many dudes you have or something, but who can say. Okay, secret military base. That's going to be on a planet. Let's just take orbital stuff for now. See what's up. Okay, there's one of these little satellite dudes. An Imperial battleship. I could cry from happiness. Surely you of all people will help my diseased colony? Right, get on your diseased ship. 
Some a key experiment going gone wrong. It says there's gene mods written all over it. Ask what happened to or continue on. You cannot help her. Let's ask what happened. Because I don't know who these Aki people are. Let's find out what they're all about. Flesh-eating bacteria. Thousand vamp pasting her skin. But we do have a few healthy soldiers here. They should be on your ship where they can still do some good for the Empire. Uh, is there some amount of chance? Yes, there is some amount of chance that we could screw up. Let's send, I'm guessing that this is going to be our erudition officer. So let's do that. Yeah, Gwenella here. Uh, she's she's our girl. She's smart. We got to send her to do those erudition jobs. One of the soldiers has a disease. Must have required it before being quarantined. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the healthy ones. Okay. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out too, but we didn't need any flesh-eating diseases on our ship. I gotta say that right now. Uh, so, I I'm fine with that. I would like to have had the soldiers, but if they want to die together, I guess they can. Check out the... Oh my god, check out the texture animation on this planet. I didn't even notice that before. Magnetic interference. Buckle up, could get bumpy. Okay. Ooh, got chief for you. Got a situation down here. There's an isolated fire in C9. The storm must be to blame. Primary squadron hangar. Oh. Neo in foam. That sounds real bad. Like, that's going to use our fuel. Mm, I'd really rather not have any squadron damage. Requires two in Neo in. Oh, man. We can't. I'm really sad about that. I would have liked to have had it just cost one, and I might have done it, but uh, suffered some squadron damage in the flames. Hopefully, we'll have a chance to repair it soon. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, wrecked fighter and frigate. I hope wrecked just means it's kind of like half damage. Can we see this? Yeah. All right. So our frigate is also half damage. Well, all right. Win some, you lose some, I guess. Let's uh, check out PE-31. Another battleship. Scrapper in a Kosh minefield. Looks like it got the best of it, too. Anyway, your birds can scrap that ship. In those mines, it's risky. Could damage our birds. Well, our birds are already beaten up. I wonder if there's any chance of getting fuel out of it. Let's go for it. Um, we got to try things out in order to get the hang of this game. I have no no doubt this is going to take many, 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 many playthroughs to get the hang of. Okay. Oh, I don't like the sound. That sounded very negative. Oh dear. Significant squadron damage from the shrapnel. Well, you did. So we got a wrecked drone and a wrecked fighter. So we have all of our inventory of ships is wrecked. How do we affect repairs on these buddies? Uh, I would like to get them set back up, but okay, I don't know how to do it. All right, well, let's go for the ground signal, see if we can... Wait a minute, does it cost fuel to go between the in-system items? I did not catch that point. Well, alright, let's go for it. Let's see if we hit some fuel. Uh, this will be the be the last hurrah. If not, we're going to be hanging out in orbit with the, <laughs> the pirate beacon. That's very cute. I like it. Um, that totally looks like orcs. Okay, we're getting a message from him, though. Pay your union fees before the first of the year. All pirates who don't will be pirated. That's great. <laughs> 
No Neo Fuel left. Open star map and refuel. How does that work exactly? But let, well, let's go down to the mission. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's scan the planet, see what's on it. No major threats. Optimal team size is 10 commandos. Send more commandos improves survival rate. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, well, we'll get our officer back. Looks like we'll get a lot of resources and we'll lose no commandos. So, I don't buy that. Really losing no commandos business, but let's go for it. We're hoping for fuel for sure. Okay. Smarty Gwinella here with her erudition. Saving us all kind of trouble. Line is secured. Uh, yeah, you're going to continue. This is the last ditch. You need... Oh, persuasion. Oh, shite. I don't know who we were bargaining with, but that didn't work out real well. Engineering. Great. Oh, oh fuel. Ha! Sweet. All right. Scrap. Good. Decent scrap haul here. Secret military base. I, I really super dig this, by the way, this little scene here that they do. I know it's just pure, just pretty, but I, it's it's really, really nice. I like it. And we got a Cruiser Mark I Impaler. I have no idea what that is, but that sounds really good. Some more scrap. And we are still going here. Extraction point. Yeah, Gunnell, or bring your stuff back. Yeah, let's get back on here and check it out. So we got three fuel, 87 scrap, and a Cruiser Mark I Impaler. Um, which is what? Oh, it's a Cruiser. I, I see. I was a little confused by the nomenclature there, but... What does a Cruiser do? Okay, I thought it was going to be a simple rock, paper, scissors thing for the whole time. But this is sweet. Uh, let's see. Takes more damage at short range. It looks like it's pretty slow. It goes 0.6 cells a second versus a drone, which goes 1.6 cells a second, and a fighter, which goes nearly one. Frigates are only slightly faster. So it has 10 second cooldown. Fire projectile dealing 10 damage to the enemy of a battleship, no matter the distance. Cancel, taking damage, or moving. If we take damage or move within the 10 seconds, we don't get that, I guess, is what that means. Yeah, you know, I don't know, uh, but we have been to everywhere. We've been everywhere, man. Okay, let's go. We're getting caught up by these dudes here. Oh, check it out. Uh, system will become hostile after the next jump between systems. Okay, well, we ain't going that way. We're coming over here. Which looks like a bad scene. So let's go check it out. And then we're probably going to end the episode. We are getting chased. Chased off the property here. <clears throat> so we've got another battleship to deal with. One of Mother Sector cronies. So this is a boss. Teal's battleship in my sector? Yeah. Jif. Jif. Skeege. Where's mother? That's my mom we're talking about. These guys are real creepy. Okay, I guess we're gonna do the battle before we uh, head out. This may be, uh, this may be rough. So they're gonna deploy a drone Mark One shredder when damaging enemy battleships. Steal up to eleven scrap for fight. Uh uh. And we got some more of these boomers here. Ooh, we're gonna be hurting. We're going to be hurting in this fight because everything is damaged. I think we are going to deploy the fighters. I think we're going to go the same, the same uh, weapon mix that we had before. Now that I think about it, I probably should have added another squadron slot so I could deploy more squadrons or another weapon slot, but, man, yeah, what are you going to do? Okay, so let's get these fighters deployed. Like that, I guess. I'm going to try to pull them up here and here to block the way through. And then we'll take our standard thing. Now, these guys do have a flat cannon. 
Targets 10 random cells in an area. It's got 25 damage, 33.3 seconds, no effects on a battleship, so they're gonna be shooting at our at our fighters, sadly. Uh, let's get these guys moved into position here. And our weapons have got a fair bit of time to recharge. They're going to get a shot at us before we get a shot at them, unfortunately. Okay, they, one of their dudes just blew up on me. Uh, don't know what happened there. I think they took out our fighters. So they are going to respawn, though. And they're about to launch two more sorties here. Can we get a weapon online could we get a weapon online that would be like super sweet uh, okay no it's not gonna get replaced yikes um, let's deploy this thing and let's move this thing up to take some position here and hope that our freaking weapons will uh there we go okay let's just fire at the hull okay that was bad so they took out our drones all right this is gonna really suck can y'all take that can you cruiser can you do that no he can't and they're just gonna blow it up so how about you get over there Oh man, it's so slow. One of your squadrons has been wrecked. It can't be used in this fight until patched. Onboard mechanics and patch the ship to 50% of its max health. For full repair, you need to visit a shipyard station. Okay. All right, good to know. We're not going to be able to deploy shite else here. We got 20 something seconds until the thing recharges. I'm very concerned here. Uh, well, let's put the frigates in the water and uh, as soon as our. Okay. Oh no! Oh no, our weapon has sustained damage. That's bad. Which means we're not going to be able to fix it. Um... Oh man. Okay, I didn't really want to do anything with that. I'm just hoping that they're going to help protect us against those drones. Oh man, we're hurting. We're hurting big time here. Compartmentalized hull will make them more resilient. Hull bars represent the healthier battleship. Each has a specific amount of health. Okay. Alright. Can we get our weapons back online? This is this is gonna go very badly for us. It looks like we're following them. Our cruisers are about to get wrecked though. Yeah, there we go. And weapon is ready to fire. Go for the hull, please. And can we get this one? Okay. Come on now. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to go down. It's going to go very badly for us. There it goes. You and your crew are dead because of your decisions, Admiral. You have to do better if you're going to save the Empire. Proceed with mine download and try again. All right, guys. Hey, this has been Crying Suns. Check it out. It's on Steam for, I think, $24.95. It's, uh, it looks like a super cool game. I mean, it has... Uh, it's pretty simple, but it has like super atmosphere and in fact it looks to me like the tactical game is getting even more complex And that looks like an awful lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to trying it out some more and I'll catch you guys around next time